If you run your own league, you need a tool like Race Control. What is it? Put simply, it allows you to steward your race in real time. Not having to scrub through footage looking for incidents or waiting for racers to actually report them. It immediately flags and allows you to quickly jump to every single incident that happens in the race. So let's have a look at the features that are included in race control. Now each window here has the option to stay always on top. So if I untick this window and then click on iRacing, you can see that it will disappear. Whereas if I click on the always on top icon, um, now when I interact with iRacing, these windows will always stay on top, allowing you to really interact with both the app and iRacing at the same time. We can see that here I have my custom display. I have an AI race going just to show you what race control can do. Now this is customized for me. All these windows can be moved and resized as you can see and I have got a layout that I'm quite happy with right now. When you start up race control it will remember the location and the current screen that it is on. So if you have a multiple screen display it will work with that. So here is this AI race that I have got. So what we're going to do is we're going to skip the driver lineup and the race will start momentarily. Now what we will do is we will jump ahead a little bit into the race so that I can show you one or two things. We've jumped ahead a bit in the race and we have got an incident. Now you can see here on the incident log, I we've got this driver number four and 55. So if I click on four, I can see that there was, well, a loss of control. Then he got hit by the driver behind. Now we can see on nearby drivers here, it's flagged this person. So let's see, did he have any fault in the matter? Let's see, well, he definitely hit him from the rear end. So he is at fault there. So what we will do is on this driver here, we are going to find him in the incident log. We've got him flagged as a contact and we're going to say causing a collision. Now we have the option of giving him a penalty season. So here I'm going to just say that it's a time penalty of 10 seconds. I'm going to say lost control and crashed in two. Uh, what was the name? TJ Majors. And I have the option to output the result in iRacing chat. So I'm going to apply that and as you can see here it has it's outputted it in the chat that he's been given a 10 second penalty which is rather cool. So he's been dealt with. Let's now look at this car who actually lost control and I'm going to say that no further action. No incident on this one. Um actually no, we'll say not at fault. So no mm, <laughs> let's see not at fault. There we are. I can just add that as a note. We have another incident that has popped up here and that's just a loss of control. So genuine mistake. I don't really need to even put any information on this. I'll just add that. And that incident is dealt with as well. As you can see in real time, you can quite easily keep up with all incidents that happen. You can actually also filter incidents out if you don't want uh, loss of controls. Uh, currently they don't get in sorted out of the incident log but that will be coming out in a future update. Now here is the race log. As you can see the race log shows you overtakes. So if for example you are commentating on a race this is a lovely tool you can have particularly if you want to keep an eye on certain drivers so that was that overtake there. I can click here and see how did he overtake and it takes you just a little bit back in the app so you can actually see where the overtake happened. It's probably a bit further up. So we'll pause this here and now we're going to have a look at some of the other things we have. We can view the incident log here and you can see that it shows you all the incidents that have happened in practice, qualifying and the race. It also shows you if they have been reviewed or not and if they have been reviewed the actual outcome of that penalty. We can then, if we wish, export the thing that, we, that we've, we've got, you know, the incident report. So we'll just close that down. So what else can this app do? Well, let's have a look at the options. So under options and settings, we have a load of options that we can do. So we can actually flag overtaking under yellows, which is really cool. So if it's a, a yellow that is out on track and somebody overtakes, iRacing doesn't always pick that up. 
you can now flag overtaking, which is great. We have the camera settings, we have the incident settings. Here's where you can create your custom penalties, etc. And really shows just some of the tools that Race Control has at its disposal. If you're wondering where can I get it from, if you look in the description, you'll see a link to my Discord and the downloads are available there. The public versions of Race Control are free. Now, if you'd like to support, you can support me via Patreon. And as an added perk, you can get access to the development builds. Now, what you're looking at right now is the current development build. It's the latest development build available. Once all the bugs have been polished out, it will become a public release, probably in about two or three weeks from the date of this video. I hope that this tool can be of use to you. If you like it, can you please tell us about it? And hopefully I'll be able to carry on building this for a very long time to come.